when a letter has been generated for a customer or they've been sent an email or an SMS or some other form of electronic communication, all that information is saved here in customer view. So on this page here, I have already searched for a customer and in the bottom section here in the details part under the messages tab, you'll see a list of all of the messages that have been sent to this particular customer. The message name, the message type, whether it was a letter, SMS, email will be there as well, the date it was sent and who it was created by. Now if you would like to just have a look or view the actual message that was sent or generated for the customer, you just double click on the message name or you can click on it once and then click view. Now this is an actual live example which is why I've blocked out some of the details but as you can see here anyone who's accessing customer view will be able to have a look at the actual message whether it was an SMS, email or a letter that was generated for this customer. We'll close this down now. Now from here we're also able to create and send a message directly from customer view. I'll just jump into another instance to show you how that works. Okay, so how we create a new message is we just head down to the new button here and depending on how your customer view is set up, you'll see a list of message types you can select from. Here we can see email, SMS or import document. There's also another option that's not listed here which you can have, which is to create an RTF document, which are the letters that are generated that you print yourself and post. So let's go ahead and create a new email message. Email, click next. Now on this page here you'll be able to see a list of all the available email templates that you can use to send to this customer. This particular instance just has the two to choose from. Once you select uh, the name of a template, the message name will pop up here. You can change that if you like. You also have the opportunity to uh, select a dialogue to relate this email to. All of this information will be registered within Customer View against this customer go to create message. So now a new window has popped up. This is a happy birthday email. It might be a very generic email for everybody. In this particular case, this customer has not got an email registered against their name, uh, against their details. So what has popped up here is a hyphen. If you know the email address, you pop it in here and you should also update your main system as well. If they already have an email address registered, that's what will be populated in this field up here. You also have the option to scroll down and change any words that you like, any images in the actual email and then click send. This is a live example so I won't be sending that today. We'll close this. Head back. And now we'll do an example for an SMS message. SMS, click next. And again, here you'll see a list of all the available SMS templates that you can use. You simply go through the same process to create a new SMS and send it off to the customer. And let's go back now and cancel. Now if you did send a real live message then that information would pop up here. Um, that information would also pop up under the activities tab here. And that's how you create and send a new message directly from customer view.